A fierce heat wave is gripping parts of Europe with temperatures reaching more than 40 degrees Celsius. This is Antibes in the south of France, where tourists are being warned to take special care in the extreme heat. In Greece, they've been dousing areas at risk of wildfires with temperatures expected to hit 45. And they'll do anything to keep cool in Turin in Italy, one of 10 major cities issued with red alert warnings for severe heat. And part of what is driving these extreme temperatures is, of course, global warming. Here's our climate editor, Justin Rowlatt. Sightseeing was a dangerous business in Athens today. Tourists were given emergency water supplies to help cool down. A heat wave named after the three-headed dog that guards the gates of Hades in Greek mythology is driving temperatures across southern Europe to truly hellish levels. We'll deliver 30,000 bottles of water today, says the head of the Greek Red Cross. It was suffocating. Yeah. I mean, we are from Washington, D.C., and we get a lot of heat there, but it's not like this. The air temperature in Italy could even top the all-time 48.8 Celsius record next week. And this satellite map of Spain shows surface temperatures have reached 60 Celsius in places. And temperature records have also been smashed in parts of Canada, the U.S. and China. At the same time, Antarctic sea ice is at the lowest extent ever recorded. And there have been terrible floods too. Just look at the mayhem caused by torrential rain in India. Last week was the hottest week ever recorded. Climate scientists say the heat and the rain is driven in part by global warming. This shows estimated average global temperatures over the last 800,000 years. Look how the world went in and out of ice ages. Now let's add in carbon dioxide levels and look how closely they track the temperature. And just look how carbon dioxide spikes here at the end of the graph. Now let's zoom in to the last 12,000 years. Look how the world gradually warms, then temperatures level out, becoming much more stable than during the Ice Age. Now we human beings, we've been around for about 300,000 years, but it's only in this period of warm and stable temperatures that we learned to grow crops and civilization developed. Now let's look at the last 2,000 years. Temperatures remain stable until just over there at the end of the graph. The steam engine was invented, the industrial revolution took off, man-made carbon dioxide emissions started to increase, and just look what happened to global temperatures. We're moving the Earth into a new era where ecology, plants, animals and ourselves just can't cope. And be warned, it is going to get hotter. A weather pattern called El Nino is developing in the tropical Pacific. Scientists say it's likely to make next year even hotter than this one. Justin Rowlatt, BBC News.